Hi, and welcome to this uh, short tutorial on um, using the relevant column in ODK XLS form. Okay, so if you've been following along, this is the third tutorial uh, that we've just been showing how to create this form. So uh, we have a question, how many people are in this household? And we've put a constraint that they must enter an answer that's greater than three. How many females are in this household? We've put a constraint that that must be greater than zero and it has to be less than or equal to the total number of people that are in this household. Um, and then we've put a constraint that um, on this question, how many pregnant or lactating females are in this household? We've said that that must be less than or equal to the total number of women. Now, um, this last question here, how many pregnant or lactating females are in this household? It doesn't make sense that this question would be asked if you um, entered that there are zero women in this household. So if your data collector entered zero, they're allowed to do that because it's less than the number of people in the household and it's greater or equal to zero. Okay, so it matches the constraints. They're allowed to enter zero. They are going to be very confused if your form then asks how many pregnant or lactating females are in this household because they've already told you that there are zero females. So you need to make sure as the form designer that this question definitely doesn't appear if there are zero females. So in that case, what you want to do is just go over to your relevant column and you just put a dollar sign and an open curly bracket and num underscore women. Okay, so that means whatever the number is that they entered for uh, num women. Okay, so you're just referring back to this answer, whatever they put under there, must be greater than zero. Okay. This means, so this relevancy, very, very simple. All it will check is if this is zero, it won't show this um, question because this question is only relevant if the answer to none women is greater than zero, okay? So if you put one here, one is greater than zero, so it will show this question. If you put five here, then this question will show because five is greater than zero, so uh, that makes sense. If you put zero women, zero is not greater than zero, so this question will not enter uh, or will not show. Okay, so your this this will just help uh, to make sure that your uh, data collectors don't get really confused um, if a question pops up. Okay, thanks, and that's uh, that's all for this small tutorial. Hope that was helpful. Yeah.